welcome back everyone so advertisements suggestions diagnostic data and many other unnecessary settings are enabled by default on your windows 11 and you can turn these off if you wish however you should never disable some feature to protect your security and the privacy and today i will be discussing some setting that you should always keep enable so without any delay let's quickly get started number one ensure that your user account control is being active this is a very important setting that you must enable to secure your device from unwanted application and malware. You are likely seeing a prompt window appearing when you run a program that requires the administrative access. That's a user account control prompt. It acts as a checkpoint to prevent user or malicious software from making changes to system setting and files without the consent of the device administrator. So if you turn this off, then such kind of application will be installed automatically without any prompt and you will even not be able to know that what kind of application has been installed. So always recommend it that keep the user account control always enable. And in order to enable it or to check it, you can click on your Windows search, type user account and you will be getting change user account control settings and it will bring up this kind of box. So now you can see on my end it's been selected to notify me only when app try to make changes to my computer. Now if you select this to never notify, that is to the very bottom, it says never notify me when app try to install software or make changes to my computer. I make changes to Windows setting. So even if there is any changes made to your Windows setting, then also you will not be notified. Windows settings like disabling the virus protection, disabling the antivirus, you will not be even prompted that your security has been disabled. Okay, so make sure that it's been selected to this option or to the very top that says always notify. Click on OK and click on Yes and now you are good to go. And next you have to ensure that your file extension is being enabled. Now downloading file and different things from the internet is a very common thing for every computer user. But nowadays there are many unwanted things especially when you download any kind of attachment from your email. So you need to ensure that the file you have downloaded is actually that kind of file or not. For example let me show you if I bring up my file explorer. I have downloaded this kind of application here. Now I can read the name here. I can see the icon here. Now this icon can be easily changed to any other kind of icon like PDF icon. And once the thumbnail will be changed to the PDF. I believe that majority of the people will think that it's a PDF file and in order to open it they will simply make a double click on it and in case if it's a .exe file then it will be quickly downloaded on your computer. So this can be any kind of malware that you thought it is a PDF file you made a double click on it and accidentally you installed on your device. So you need to always verify that what kind of extension it contain and right now you can see I don't find any extension here. So what you will have to do from the top menu option you will have to click on view hold up to show and make sure this option of file name extension has been checked so click on it once and now you can see that it shows me that what kind of file it is so if this file is with an extension .exe that means it's a set of file an application file so I will avoid it and if it's really a PDF file then it will contain an extension like .pdf Okay, so you have to be very careful the next time when you download any kind of attachment or even any kind of file from the internet, assure that what kind of file you have downloaded before running it. And next you have to make sure that you never bypass the Windows login and have a login password on your Windows 10 or Windows 11. Now the login screen is your first line of defense against the unauthorized access. But I have seen many users bypassing this so that they can easily and quickly access their desktop. But keep in mind that it leave your device vulnerable to anyone who can physically access it. They can access your data and make unauthorized changes. Alright, so still if you don't have any kind of password or pin on your computer, then you have to set up right now. And it's very simple. Make a right click on the Windows icon. Click on settings. From the left in menu option, you will have to click on accounts. And here you have to click on sign in options. Click on it. And here you can find out all the ways to sign into your computer. You can use a facial uh, recognition, fingerprint recognition. You can go with the Windows Hello Pin, the security key or just a password. So if you want to set up a password, you can click on the password section. 
I already have the password on my computer, so it asked me to change. But if you don't have, it will give you an option to add. So you can click on add and then further on, you can type the desired password that you want to. And once you confirm it, the password will be active on your device and it will create an extra layer of security on your device. Now next, you also need to make sure guys that you keep your virus and the threat protection or any other kind of antivirus always enable no matter you're using any kind of third party antivirus or using the windows security always keep an eye that your protection is working fine and all kind of security features are being enabled in order to verify you can click on your windows search type virus click on virus and threat protection then under the virus and threat protection settings you will have to click on manage settings now here you get different kind of protection that really give you a good layer of security so real-time protection, dev drive protection, cloud delivered protection, automatic sample submission, tamper protection. So make sure that all these protection listed here are being enabled and even you can check them at least once in a week or maximum once in a month to assure that none of the securities are being disabled. And a part of this, you also need to make sure that your ransomware attack protection that is now called the control folder access has been enabled. For that you need to scroll down and here you will find control folder access and this is basically if you read here it says protect file folder and memory area on your device from unauthorized changes by unfriendly application so click manage control folder access and make sure it's been turned on okay so you also need to assure this protection because many people have seen that they never reach here and majority of the time it's been disabled next you also need to assure that your firewall protection has been enabled and in order to check click on your windows search type firewall and somewhere you will be getting the windows defender firewall click on it and on my end you can see the private network is being turned on and connected and in order to manage it you can click on turn windows defender firewall on or off and assure this firewall protection has been enabled from both the end and now the last and not the least keep always your windows update enable now windows update basically bring many kind of update related to the features related to the security related to the bug and it always fix majority of the problem related to your uh, device security any kind of drivers so what you can do click on your windows search type update from the suggestion you can click on check for updates and it will take you to the windows update option and you can see here I have a update available that I can go ahead and download and install them. Now part of that if you look below it says more option get the latest update as soon as they are available. Alright so make sure this option has been enabled and once it will be enabled every time you click on check for update it will let you know the latest update available for your device depending on your operating system. So these were the seven important settings that are always recommended that you should keep them on and let me know in the comment section that which settings you disable on your device and do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye